being boring is easy. You want to be boring, you shouldn't be afraid. Everybody I know is getting out here and doing this boring ass crap. I mean, you know, what's so scary about that? Are you afraid you're going to be boring? Most people come by it naturally. Most people out there, and you've seen them, most people out there are so unconvincingly bland, and they actually think that that is how to be authentic. <laughs> oh, yeah. <coughs> Got news for you. Takes work. Takes real work. Takes real, serious, heavy-duty work. Business is serious business. And making it fun is a challenge. Not because it's particularly hard. But making it fun requires learning how to be fearless. Learning how to kick against all the crap. Learning how to say what's on your mind. Learning how to let yourself start saying things that you might be afraid people aren't going to like. Oh, no. Uh, they won't like me. And that is why so many people play it safe. They play it safe. And they make boring ass, sorry, horrible, god awful, put you to sleep kind of crap. Makes you want to scream and cry. Makes you want to run away into the woods. Makes you want to have another cocktail earlier than the first one that you planned. You want to be better than that, don't you? You want to actually be the alternative to all of that crap. I bet you. Here's the thing. Maybe you're scared that you're going to get out there and do it as horribly boring as all those other people. You're thinking in the back of your mind, you have this little inner policeman on your shoulder whispering in your ear saying, don't be as horrible as, you know, Mark. <laughs> Don't be as terrible as Tina. Don't be as scripted as Sally. Scripted as Sally, terrible Tina, horrible Mark. That doesn't work. Don't be as horrible as Harold. <laughs> and that's where I come in. It's about supplying you with the superhero powers that give you the booties and the cape. This is my pirate ship. It gives you the blunderbuss plus the big amount of, well, all of all of the rings and jewelry. Hey, I even have a funny little scary little guy right there. Oh, scary. I like to believe in the pirate ship ethic. Why? Because pirates are outlaws. Pirates ex exist outside of all of the normal rules that society tells you ought to be, and the pirates choose the rules that are appropriate for them in their way based on what they know they need. And I'm telling you that all of those people doing that boring scripted crap they're not outlaws. They're just buying into what people tell them they can do instead of empowering them to fearlessly become leaders. They are offering a scripted, cheap ass convenient template that allows them to be sheep. Now, sheep are cute. Sheep are not nice. Sheep will go where you tell them. But there's a thing about sheep. They're not necessarily wanting to be followers. This is just the idea that we have. This is the definition of being a follower. And I want you to not be a follower. 
How do you not be follower? You hang out with people who can guide you into your more profound self. You see, there's nothing wrong with a scripted template. Certain types of strategy are important, but the strategy does, doesn't come before your need to extract and unleash your profound, scary, fearless truths. So let's go back to that idea of the booties and the cape that enable you to be fearless. Your superpower, your powerful, honest-to-God truth, that has to be specific, and you have to know it in your bones. You have to be able to say the shit that other people only dare to think. You become the mouthpiece, and other people just kind of think about that and say, I wish I could say that. Can you be that leader? Absolutely. How do I know? I've been teaching people how to do this shit for a long time. Since 1987. That's 34 years. I think maybe 35 now. Yeah, actually. 35. <laughs> yeah, I'm old. Oh, I'm so old. Old man rivers and a goddamn mule. Learning a process of extracting your badassery so that you can say exactly what you damn well mean, what you please the way you want, not intending to harm other people. That's not what it's about. It's about standing for what you believe in. In this online space, in this online space, how many people are actually being followers and stepping forward into the larger profound sense of self? Just guess. Take a guess. You think it's zero? <laughs> you think it's almost none? Yes. Why? Why? Because everybody that you follow, everybody that you care about, everybody that you pay attention to, and everybody that you quote, you think they're following some template? Do you honestly think that they are reading from a script from somebody else? Name your favorite online business entrepreneur motivator person. Name your favorite podcast person. Do you think like, you know, Joe Rogan, the Joe Rogan experience? Okay, here's a, here's a good example. The Joe Rogan experience. You can like him or not like him. He fundamentally went against all the other ways of doing things. Long before him, there was Howard Stern. Every Oprah Winfrey was told by everybody that that stuff wouldn't work. Do you think that she had a scripted strategy to follow? Everybody in the scripted normal world that was funding that shit that she wanted to do turned her down until she proved them wrong. No maverick, intrepid, motivational, inspirational, badass, unique force unto this world has ever followed the normal plan. And they have all met with resistance from the norm until they have actually been acknowledged as some kind of forward-thinking impresario in their own right. Scripted, horrible, trite, vapid, torpor-laden bullshit is the surefire way to mediocrity. But the reason I can say the shit that I know, the reason I can do what I truly care about, 
the reason why I don't have to sell so hard then people come to me is that I have articulated a fearless understanding of what it takes to do it my way, on my terms, teaching people how they do it their way, on their terms. And that takes work, and it takes guidance, and all of the convenient bullshit is a surefire elixir for disaster. <laughs> so you can take your big gobbly goop martini of crap, or you can embrace something that's far more potent, powerful, and compelling. Choice is yours. And that brings me for just a moment to talk about the Pirate Video Summit. It's going to be in one week. Next Saturday. What we do there has everything to do with learning how to extract all of your badassery so that you can create video content that attracts people and allows you to build your own freedom business without having to worry about obeying other people's terms and other people's rules. So this is my Friday. <coughs> I'll reveal more as we go. I'm opening the doors to this thing. Next Monday. In the meantime, I wish you well. I'll be here again. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Think this shit's going to come to you? Got news for you. It just did. Here we are knocking. You want to learn this? You want to learn how to be the alternative? The antidote? The solution to all of that scripted crap? And therefore, never have to worry about being boring again. Speak soon. You'll get him. See you later.